Hey guys, uh, so it is really hot here in Texas. Um, I'm on the Nest web app uh, connected to my, my Nest thermostat in my home. And so yeah, it's, right now it's 90 degrees. There hasn't been a drop of rain in it seems like a month or so. It's, it's bone dry outside. I think earlier today it was, it was about 94, um, so it is hot. Uh, so, yeah, like I said earlier, this is the Nest web app. Um, I've had my Nest for about three or four years, and it's been really good to me so far. I originally bought it when I was in an apartment, and uh, now I'm in a house, and uh, it's still uh, working like it's brand new. The only thing I will say, though, is that uh, it, it has some difficulty detecting when I leave the house. Um, it, it doesn't know when to go into eco mode or away mode. Uh, and it, it seems to have this problem when you have two users on the account. So, so I'll leave and uh, it'll go into away mode and my girlfriend's still at home. So I don't know why it's having trouble with that. I, I set up the app on her phone um, but it still has trouble with that. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Other than that, I mean, I usually just manually turn it to away mode uh, when we leave the house together. So, yeah, it's been really good, and today I'm going to show you how to kind of optimize it for this hot Texas summer that we're looking forward to. So, uh, let's see... So let's go to the schedule first. Um, so I have it set. Uh, this is another great feature about the Nest. Is in, whereas a programmable thermostat, you have four temperature changes throughout the day. This can support as many as you want. So I've really gotten pretty detailed here. So what I'm doing here is kind of a. It kind of. The in, inside temperature set point kind of scales with the outdoor temperature because uh, I noticed uh, I need it to be 76 degrees at night in order to sleep. Uh, but at around 5 in the morning, uh, the, it's cold enough outside that it gets kind of muggy inside because the AC is not clicking on. So I have this little... Uh, 75 degree turn down right before uh, dawn uh, so that kind of gets rid of the mugginess in the morning um, and then so throughout the day uh, it slowly creeps up because uh, if I'm running 76 degrees at 4 p.m. I, first of all I'm burning a lot of electricity the, the AC is going to be running for hours on end straight um, second of all it, it gets pretty cold just because it's running the whole time uh, so what I do is I, I uh, turn it up a degree every few hours and uh, 79 degrees is actually pretty comfortable if it's 94 degrees outside so I kind of have this uh, sliding scale temperature adjustment uh, and that tracks the outdoor temperature roughly um, so this is a great way to kind of a uh, use the scheduling feature to keep yourself comfortable but also conserve as much energy as possible. So uh, I work at home so I can't really use the, uh, the away feature that often. If I worked in an office uh, you know right as I leave at uh, 8 it would, uh, it would go into eco mode and then it would come down uh, let's see, right around here, 5 p.m., back to 78 or whatever I have it set up. So, uh, yeah, so this is pretty pretty efficient. Oh, let's see, go to the history. So I've been running this for a few weeks now that it's blazing hot outside. Um, so, yeah, so you can kind of see the set points. There's a few manual adjustments. Uh, that's usually my girlfriend. Um, but it's pretty manageable. So let's see, let's see. Right here on Sunday, we left for a long time. That's why, so it's been consistently the same temperature outside during the day for the past few weeks. So 
on Monday, uh, the AC ran for 11 and a quarter hours. On Sunday, it ran for eight hours. That's because we got that nice uh, four, five, six hour break. The AC got a break for that long. So that really helps. Same with Saturday too. And you can see Friday back at home all day. And that's why we have that almost two hour jump in energy use. Um, now, it'd be interesting to see what it would look like if I ran it at 76 the whole day, uh, but I haven't done that yet. Wednesday, man, what? Yeah, so you can see, like, oh, I had a different schedule back then, but if, if you're turning it up during the day, it really reduces that daytime runtime. Uh, it chops it up into a few more cycles, uh, so that you know that might save an hour or so of runtime, which adds up. So enough of that. Uh, let's see, home away assist. I got that on. Uh, auto schedule. I never really liked that too much. I uh, could never really figure out my schedule. Time to temp, uh, that's fine. Just shows you what how long it'll take to reach the temperature. Early on, I generally don't feel like I need that because when the AC is running, it feels cool. So it could be 80 degrees. If the AC is running, that, that's almost enough to keep me happy. Uh, cool to dry. Uh, this is important, especially in Texas. Uh, and it just runs the AC a little bit longer if it's extra humid. Unfortunately, this only comes on if they, the humidity is above uh, 70%. So I, I never see this on. I have to use, a, I have to like manually adjust it. That's one thing they could really work on uh, is fixing this. So it, it comes on at 60% humidity. That would be a lot more useful. Uh, so they need to work on this a little bit. Sunblock, the... I, I don't use this because the thermostat's in the hallway. Um, Airwave. So this is this is really important. Uh, so it is hot and dry. I'm not too dry, but I think during the day the relative humidity outside is 60%. So uh, the AC is running a lot. It's dehumidifying, and this what this does is runs the fan uh, right. Uh, it continues to run the fan after or right before the set point is about to be be uh, met, uh, but it turns off the compressor. So that uh, blows the air across the coil and, and gets a little bit more of the cold air out of the coil. And it re-evaporates a little bit of the condensed water on it. Um, so it kind of brings up the humidity a little bit, but that's not a big deal because... Uh, it's 40% humidity in the house. So, yeah, if, if you have this on, it, it will come on at, uh, yeah, 40%. If it's below 40% humidity, airwave will, that sequence will be enabled. It, it's not necessarily running, but uh, if you're in cooling mode and it's below 40%, you might see this airwave logo on your thermostat. So that's a really good thing to have on. Uh, fan schedule, uh, not... I don't use this during the summer, but sometimes in the shoulder seasons. Uh, eco temperatures, these are just kind of arbitrary here. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's a, just kind of how I use my nest to uh, conserve as much energy as possible. Um, I'm planning on getting a, a uh, smaller air conditioner soon uh, once we insulate the attic. Uh, actually, not even an air conditioner, a heat pump, because I'm, I'm running during the winter. Last winter was brutal, actually. Uh, we, were, we were running the, the strip heat. That's all we have in the air handler. So, 
yeah, we need to get a, a heat pump in, in here. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know what you think about this strategy or if you have any other tips for the nest. And if you found this interesting or slightly amusing, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.